Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hollywood Joe with Hollywood's World of Sports, and it's uh, been quite a long time since I've uh, done a video blog. Um, been mainly focusing on my writing skills and doing a little bit more, you know, pen to, pen to paper type stuff, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm very fired up about a certain individual in the UFC. Uh, you may know him as John Bones Jones, who happens to be the current UFC light heavyweight champion. Um, if you don't know already, um, I started a petition yesterday, which I'm getting mixtures of 50-50. Some absolutely think it's great. Some people absolutely hate it. Uh, and the reason for this is because uh, John Jones admitted to the he positive, well, he tested positive for the main uh, metabolic, or metabolite, whatever the hell you call it, uh, that's found in cocaine. So, essentially, he has tested positive for cocaine. And he admitted to it and said he's going to uh, rehab. Um, the test apparently was taken on December 3rd, approximately one month prior to his fight with uh, Daniel Cormier. Now, I like John Jones. Um, you know, I like him as a fighter. I think he's a hell of a fighter. I don't wish any bad upon him. I don't, you know, hate him by any means. But at the same time, you need to face consequences for your actions. Uh, people are using so many excuses for what Jones uh, is doing. Uh, but I've heard the excuse, well, it didn't affect what happened in the fight. Okay, well, uh, you could use that same scenario in other situations with athletes. Uh, let's take let's take Adrian Peterson, for example. Uh, he disciplined his child um, in his own home. And it didn't affect the... Um, play or didn't affect his play or the Minnesota Vikings and how they play on the field. Look at where Adrian Peterson's at right now. Not getting paid and sitting home. Um, let's take uh, Ray Rice. Punches his girlfriend in the public elevator. Um, doesn't affect the Baltimore Ravens and how they play and doesn't affect how he plays on the field. Uh, suspended without pay released by the Baltimore Ravens. So this excuse of uh, not affecting how he performs, you can throw that right out the window. And don't say it's different scenarios because some of these scenarios, yeah, a couple of them happened in public, uh, but there's other scenarios that have happened inside their own private home. So uh, excuse number one can be thrown out the window. Other excuse um, I've heard is, well, cocaine doesn't stay in your system as long as weed does. Well, as far as I'm concerned, cocaine's pretty much more of a lethal drug than marijuana is. And the whole factor of, well, it stays in your system uh, a shorter amount of time than marijuana. Okay, so what? Big deal. A uh, drug is still a drug. No matter what, you know, no matter how long it stays in your system. So, we'll dismiss that excuse. Um, let's see, what else? The uh, side I have to favor are the ones that are saying, well, you know, other guys like the Diaz brothers and uh, Matt Riddle and a couple of uh, others got suspended, fired, or fined for testing positive for marijuana. And, uh, folks, I don't agree with drugs in general, and you know, unless they're prescribed. Um, but I would say marijuana's not as bad as cocaine. You know, um, just, just my opinion. And then the other excuse I've been hearing is that um, because it's not on the Nevada Athletic Commission's list of banned substances, 
um, that it's okay to do. Well, you know, folks, let me tell you something. If you or I were to come out into, on the news tomorrow and say, hey, um, I'm an, I, I, I admittedly, you know, did cocaine and, you know, whatever, and I need help. Do you know what would happen? People wouldn't be patting us on the back. We'd have an investigation. We would have cops searching our homes. If they found shit, we'd be arrested and put on trial. So this BS of the, you know, substance not being on the Athletic Commission's list, well, you know what? Two things. The Athletic Commission is stupid for not having it on the list. And two, I'm pretty sure uh, cocaine is illegal um, in terms of the federal government's eyes. And I'm pretty sure a federal government is going to override anything that a stupid state athletic commission has to say. Um, you know, I mean, come on, guys. Let's get real here. Uh, the fact that he took cocaine, it does not matter if it was a day before the fight, a week before the fight, or a month before the fight like he did. It is wrong. Okay? By not punishing this man, it is sending a message to all the other fighters out there and all the other f people that inspire to be fighters. That's sending a message that it's okay to use if you're out of competition. Well, you know what? It's not okay. It's not okay because, you know what? People are going to look back on this and they're like, well, John Jones got away with it, so, so can I. And parents out there who have kids that look up to this man if I had a kid right now and he had a John Jones poster on his wall I'd probably make him take it down and I'd probably explain to him why that doing drugs cheating you know that ain't a good way to live and you know what this is not the first time John Jones has gotten in trouble let me let me let me just Reiterate some of the stuff he's done. Uh, May of 2012, drove his Bentley Continental into a pole and was arrested for driving under the influence. Uh, he pled guilty, so there you go, and ended up paying a $1,000 fine. And it installed ignition interlocks to all of his vehicles. And he had to complete a victim's impact class and had his license suspended for six months. Um... Oh, yeah. UFC 151 uh, was scheduled to occur on September 1st, 2012, and it was canceled due to John Jones decline, declining to fight Chael Sonnen. It was a last-minute replacement for Dan Henderson. Well, and, and this is all facts, people. In the 19-year history of the US, UFC, it was the first card to ever be canceled and Dana White even went on record and saying this is one of the most selfish disgusting decisions that just doesn't affect you this uh, is affecting 16 other lives and their families kids are going and kids are going back to school and you know what yada 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 um, John Jones has also been criticized for repeatedly poking his opponent's eyes and you know, that's neither here nor there, but, you know, who really cares? Um, let's see, what else? Also accused of writing homoph homophobic slurs to a Swedish man over Instagram. Whatever. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, Jones and... Um... The Jones and Cormier uh, fight that broke out. Um, yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> the fight that broke out down at the press conference before the pay-per-view. Good stuff. Um, you know, I could go on and on about some of the stuff that this guy has done. And, you know, I don't care if he's a money draw or not. Um, I believe in equality. I believe that punishment needs to be across equal across the board for everybody. It don't matter if you're a jobber, 
I'll use a wrestling term, which, you know, don't mean if you're the first on the first on the whole entire preliminary card or the main event. If you get busted, you pay the consequences. Um, I'm just... The people that are supporting this man are either druggies themselves or have no morals or principles. And I have no problem saying that. I understand... You know, giving you know forgiveness and giving people second chances. I'm all for that, but this man needs to earn everything back. You know, the DUI. I mean, this is not like I said. This is just not his first offense. The man just had a DUI less than you know three years ago, and you thought he would have learned his lesson then. Uh, <laughs> I believe in second chances. I believe in working your way back up to the top. I mean, look at Michael Vick. You know, people hated Michael Vick for what he did. I didn't like Michael Vick for what he did. But at the end of the day, Michael Vick went to jail. He paid his dues, and he had to work his way back to being the star that he is. And that's what John Jones needs to do. If Dana White and the UFC and the Athletic Commission let this guy, you know, go with a pass, what kind of example is that setting for the future? What kind of, you know, you know, I mean, that's, that's basically saying, okay, you can break the rules and there's going to be no consequences. And I will say, and I'm going to be honest with you right now, if I was any one of those guys that were suspended, fired, or fined for testing positive for weed and suffering punishment, I would be suing the UFC um, for discrimination. Because that's basically what it is. They're playing favorites and they're discriminating. And it's absolutely sick. And there's one last thing I want to touch on, and I'm sure this is going to get me a lot of heat and crap because... MMA fans hate wrestling fans, and yeah, I'm a wrestling fan. Get over it. Uh, somebody said to me, stated to me, well, you know, um, if wrestling, you know, if you're such a wrestling fan, how could you be so harsh? Because if, rest, if wrestling had a drug policy, there'd be nobody left on TV. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've heard in probably the 10 years I've been doing sports journalism. Uh, because WWE does have a strict drug policy. It's probably one of the strictest out there. And I've seen guys get suspended, fined, and fired for it. And um, they're entertainment, folks. They ain't a legit sport. UFC considers them a sport. Well, guess what? How, how, how legitimate is it if you're letting your athletes do drugs and get away with it? Okay? Baseball. If you got caught doing cocaine, suspended. Doing an, got caught doing cocaine in the NFL, suspended. NBA, suspended. NHL, suspended. I can go on and on about all the sports, legitimate sports organizations. If you got caught doing cocaine or any other drug you shouldn't be doing, you'd be suspended. And likely possibly, you know, banned for the league for life, depending on how many offenses you know, there are. So, these excuses for John Jones have to stop. I don't hate the man. I don't wish bad upon the man. But the man needs consequences handed down to him. And he needs to work. He needs to start from the bottom and work his ass back, back up to the top. I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of people hating on me and disagreeing with what I have to say. Tough shit. I don't care. Morals are morals. Principles are principles. I believe in equality and equal punishment for everybody across the board. Um, so yeah, that's how passionate I am about this. Because I am a huge fan of the UFC. I love watching the UFC. I love watching these guys, you know, put their well-being at risk to entertain me. Okay? 
Um, you know, that's, <laughs> that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, that being said, um, again, my name is Hollywood Joe Williamson from Hollywood's World of Sports. Um, you can check us out at HollywoodsWorldOfSports.com. Uh, find us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, YouTube. Um, pff, I'm all over the place. Um, give me your feedback. And I mean how you feel. Not personal attacks, but just give me your feedback. That's all I'm asking for. Um, thank you guys. Have a great night. And as always, controversy doesn't come without criticism. <laughs>